hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i am going to display pop-up using community toolkit in dotnet mavi application so let me install community toolkit in this project so for install just right click on your project click on manage new get packages and install this package community toolkit.mavi so this package I am just uh, going to install in this project ok after that just uh, initialize this toolkit in mavi program.cs so here in mavi program.cs I am just uh, going to add that here use mavi community toolkit so I can access all the controls available in this uh, toolkit now I am just going to add one page uh, to display as a pop-up so here in dotnet mavi content page I am just going to add ok so right now this is the content page so for displaying this page as a pop-up I need to convert into pop-up page so for that let me add namespace here so this namespace I am just going to use uh, Mavi toolkit so from there I can now access toolkit.pop-up now I need to change a uh, base class of this pop-up page from code behind so I need to set as a pop-up here also ok now here on main page on the click of button I am just going to display uh, let me display this uh, pop-up page so for that you just need to use show pop-up method so like you can access this dot show pop-up and in that just uh, specify the pop-up page name so here we have added our page name as a pop-up page so that here I am just going to specify so now it's uh, just going to display pop-up page on the click of this button so let me run the application ok so here on the click of button it's uh, displaying uh, welcome to dotnet mavi so that content is available here in pop-up page so let me just uh, add here so from the resources images I am just uh, going to display this image here ok now let me run the application
okay so now it's displaying good so here uh, by default like uh, this toolkit dot pop up is aligned to like horizontally and vertically aligned to center but if you if you want to like a uh, display either on like left side or right side or the bottom of the screen then you just need to set here uh, this horizontal option property to align it horizontally like uh, let me set to start and vertical option also start so it will align this pop up to like a top of the screen and left side so let me run and also there is another property like if you right now if i click uh, outside of uh, pop-up page then it's just going to close this pop-up to to avoid this uh, you just can you just need to set can be dismissed by tapping outside property so it will after that it's uh, not going to close the pop-up okay so now it's displaying top left side now here on outside of click it just uh, closing pop-up to avoid that like uh, if you do not want to close this then just set this can dismiss by tapping outside to false so after that it just uh, it will not close the pop-up page and after that you just need to add here button to close it manually Okay, so now if I click outside of the screen, then it's uh, not going to close the pop-up. Now let me add here button, like two button for confirmation, like yes and no. Okay, so for close pop-up you just need to add this dot close okay and in that you can pass value also so like on the click of yes button it's just uh, going to close the pop-up and uh, here also I'm just going to pass some value so I just uh, uh, use these two buttons so let me now run uh, run the application so on the click of yes or no it's just uh, going to close the pop-up and here like uh, in some scenario you need to pass some value like uh, either like uh, if you display some alert pop-up and for the confirmation like user confirm the click on confirm button or not so in that case if you want to pass some value that time you can pass here value in this uh, close function in the type of object format okay so here on the click of yes or no it is uh, going to close the pop-up so now I'm just uh, displaying pop-up page here on the click of main page uh, on the click of button in main page or jaml.cs so you can use now uh, another method is so pop-up page async method so let me use that and here I will pass the page name that I want to display ok 
okay so this so pop up page uh, will return the value so whatever the value we pass here on close method that you can access here so let me pass here and that uh, value will be any type if you want to pass some object so let me just pass simply here true on the click of yes and let me pass some object on the click of no button so you can just For temporary purpose, I am just uh, passing value like this. Now let me just uh, add debug point here. Now I am just going to run application. So on the click of yes button, this result going to return true, and on the click of no button, it is uh, going to return this uh, object and in that user id is equal to one that i passed okay so here on the click of yes uh, okay sorry i forgot to add here because this is the so pop-up page async method so i need to add a wait so it is uh, going to wait till any action is performed now let me reason Okay, so now here on the click of yes, this result returning true and on the click of no, uh, this uh, returning now in object format user id is equal to 1. So whatever the information you want to pass, uh, you just uh, you can pass in a close function. Yeah, so you can pass in a pick of this uh, close function accepting object type value so you can pass any type of value now let me add here uh, one view model so how you can display pop-up page from view model so that I'm just going to show you so here I'm just going to add new view model for the main page So here I just created so pop-up command. So from here I'm just going to display pop-up page. Now this main page binding context I am just going to set as a main page view model. So for displaying pop-up page from view model, so you just need to use app.current.main page. So whatever the current page, so from there it is going to display on that page, it is going to display pop-up page. Now here in main page, so I'm just going to remove this counter click event and I'm just going to pass this command name, so pop up command here and it's just going to execute this so pop up async method.
okay so it's displaying pop up here on the button click now like if you want to perform some event like on the click of uh, yes or no button you you want to call some api call and you want to perform some action that you can do based on some condition okay so that's all for today i hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching